I get a lot of questions on, especially around the holidays, about prime rib, ribeye, bone-in ribeye, big cowboy chops. So we're going to uh, uh, take apart one of the bone-in ribeyes we've got to show you the difference in how one piece of meat can be called four different things. So I hope you all find this informative. All right, what we have here is bone-in prime rib, also known it just is prime rib, bone-in ribeye. You can see, let's cut, this is basically your ribeye. Here's the rib bones coming down here. And what we can do is cut them in between the ribs and then you have a bone-in ribeye. Um, when we do the standing rib roast around Christmas time, we usually we'll take and we call French the meat down, down the side of the bones, the nice white bone sticking up. For some of you that like the, uh, you see the big cowboy chops. All it is is the same thing with a long bone. Now, if you wanted to impress somebody, that's cool. Yeah, you know, we've gotten some in for people before, uh, but you're paying for this bone. It's still the same meat. Okay. What we normally have here is our Seven Hills. This is our boneless ribeye. Same thing. Okay. It is the exact same piece of meat, and the bone will be in here. This is what we cut our, our ribeyes from. We had um, I had bone in uh, an order for a bone in ribeye or bone in prime rib. Actually, I keep saying ribeye, uh, prime rib over the weekend, and we have this left over. So I wanted to take this time and show you. So what I'm going to do is basically just cut. It's bone off. And <clears throat> I'm going to show you how a sa the same piece of meat is called different things. And on pork, this is actually this would actually be a pork rib chop. Different animal, same cut basically. All right, so we take the bones off. Okay, and if you go some places that do barbecue beef ribs, that's what you get. Now, when people ask for the the bones to be Frenched on the on the uh, standing rib roast, no, you're taking out the meat in between the bones. I almost, it makes for a pretty presentation with the bone sticking up, but I almost hate to do it because this meat in here is really good. So I like roasting off the whole thing, but if that's what somebody wants, you know, for the looks, that's fine. Now, what we're going to do from here is take and cut ribeye steaks. Okay. This now is the same as what we cut every day for our ribeyes. And what I do is I take that and I trim off the excess fat. We want a little bit of fat on there for the flavor, but I'm not going to charge you all for the excess fat here. So really what I wanted to talk to you or show you was prime rib, bone-in ribeye, rib big old cowboy chop, our normal ribeyes we have out there, are all come from the same piece of meat. It's just different variations with the bone-in trimmed up. And whether it's whole, this is uh, three bones, a whole ribeye is seven bones. It's a big one. So when you go to a restaurant and get a slice of prime rib, this is where you get it from. Okay.